Okay, let's take a look at what's going on uh, with attributes. So we've got some text in our title block now, and um, remember that all you have to do to edit text is to double click on it, and then we can change it to anything um, that we want. So that's just text. Now we want to add some attributes. So I'm going to add an attribute right here. So we go to Insert. And on the Attribute tab, we're going to define an attribute. And remember that our tag is just what's going to be seen on this actual block or drawing that we're creating. So right here, I'm going to have a project name that I want to show up right here at the very top of my title block. So I'm just going to change this to project underscore because you can't have a blank space in a tag. So project name. The prompt is going to tell me what to do. This is what's going to show up in the dialog box that the attributes create. So I'm going to type just um, enter job name. And the default, I'm just going to call it Smith. I'm going to center justify. Arch 1 8 is fine. And we'll say OK. And we'll put it right here. And we'll move that. To right there. Alright, so that's project name. Now we're going to give some more information about client. So I'm going to add another attribute and this is going to be client. You know, we're going to change that to um, project. <laughs> we're going to call it project um, type. And the prompt is, what kind of project is this? And then the default, this is what's going to cue me in as to what I should be writing or what I want um, in that block of information. So I'm going to put a new residence. Four. and left is fine but I want to bump this up I'm going to uh, change this to a quarter of an inch because I want it to show really well the rotation I'm going to change to 90 and you can see this is right there okay so now I can go ahead and copy this And I'm going to change this from project type to client underscore name. Right here in my properties. The prompt is going to be um, enter client name. And the value is basically uh, default. And the value for this, or the default, is going to be Mr. And, whoops, hopefully they pay you, Mr. And Mrs. Smith. And we'll keep all the other um, parameters the same. The height the rotation, justification, they'll all stay the same. All right, so now that that's made, now let's make another one, just to go through it again. And this is going to be address. And the prompt is, we're just going to use address. And the default is 
one, two, three, main street. And again, left justification, arch is the type. This we're going to change to one eighth. Let's say OK. Oops. We can change the rotation right here in properties. Look at that. Don't need to worry about anything. As long as we have the properties open, we can change almost anything we need. So I'm going to copy this one over. And this one, we'll go here and we'll change this tag to city. Oops, I keep on doing that. City underscore state underscore zip and the prompt is we'll just call it city space or comma state comma zip and the default will be city state zip and all of these can remain the same again and we'll follow this up change this to phone prompt is enter phone number and the value is 000-000-000 000 All right, so there's that information. And then we want to add, of course, the job number, the revision codes, or the revision and the revision dates. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to annotate and single line text. And right here, we're going to add some text. So I'm going to start this text. and we're just going to call this job <laughs> job number the next line we're going to do revision 1 and then revision 2 and revision 3 and then date now we can move these down And these are all text. So now we need attributes to fill these. And then I can copy this text here and here. This I'm going to change to sheet. And this I'm going to change to of. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. So now I'm going to add annotation here. So insert, define attribute, tag is job underscore number, prompt is enter job number, and the default we'll just call it 00 00. -00 left arch one eighth it's all good we're gonna put it right here now so that all these line up I'm just gonna copy this down again because I can change these double click on it this becomes 
revision, oops, don't forget, you have to underscore, revision 1, and we're just going to call it revision 1 date. Enter revision 1 date. And the default would be 00 dash 00. zero. Or let's do dd dash mm dash yy. Okay. So I'm going to change this one to date. And enter date, and this will be zero zero dash zero zero dash zero zero, and I'm going to erase these two because I can copy this, and then if I modify this one, it's two. Two, and I'll modify this one to revision three and enter revision three date and we're good. So now all those are done. I'm going to add my date or my sheet size. I want this um, to be a half an inch. Tag is sheet. Well, I'm having problems doing this today, sheet prompt, um, and we'll just go enter sheet number. And the default, we'll call it A1. So put that right there. Now, I forgot again, this is left justification. I want it center justification. So I go over and I go center, and then I can move this now I know that this is centered right in the middle. Now I'm going to add these other attributes. Now this is sheet of so in the prompt I'm going to say what sheet is this? And the default, I'm just going to put 0, 1. The justification, I want to be on the right side. The size is 1 8. And I'll put this up. And you'll see that this is going to go right here. So when I'm writing my numbers, they will always go to the right of this of word. So I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to change this. So the justification will be left. If I double click, this is sheet of, and this is total sheets in the set. And we'll do 10. All right. So I could fill out more information here in my information, but this is good enough. So now I have an attribute for all the things I need. These are all attributes. Everything else is text. So if I give this a color right now and I'm going to go to the home ribbon and I'm just going to give it a color of blue. And that's just so I can see the difference between an attribute text and lines. So at this point, 
we will go and create the title block and send it to where it needs to go. So W, enter, brings up the right block um, dialog box. The insertion base point, we always want it to be 0, 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to save it where I want it to go. And in this, um, I'm just going to go through and change it. I'm going to save it. it. has a 17 by 11 title block, but with attributes. And click Save. And now I'm going to select the objects. I want to make sure this is on Retain, because I don't I want to be able to come back to this and change it if I need it. So it will re retain it as just individual parts. It won't convert this particular drawing to a block. Selecting the objects, I select all lines, curves, arcs, circles, text, anything that is not an attribute. So I just go through, pick everything, that I know isn't an attribute. And now that I can see that all of that is picked and I'm good to go, now I'm going to go through and in order that I want it to show up in my dialog box, I'm going to pick my attributes. So I'm going to pick them one at a time in the order that I want them to appear. So I'll just go down through here. And now that that's done, OK, and OK. And if you watch it right up here, you'll see that uh, block being created. And there it is. That was it.